Hello everyone, this is Betsy from Ideas Times 2 and today I have a tutorial for you how to make waxed tracing paper that you've um, dyed. And so some fun papers to use in your journals. Um, it gives it a great texture. It's good for just the pages or it's good for collaging. Lots of fun things you can do with um, waxed tracing paper. So this is a tutorial how to do that and we're going to go over a couple of different dye methods as well um, which I think you've you, yeah you've seen you've seen a, you have seen a little bit of that when I was making the lace paper but um, so anyway the supplies you'll need would be uh, um, tracing paper that you've already prepared and we'll talk about the dyeing methods in a minute so tracing paper already prepared wax paper parchment paper and iron I th think that's about it besides maybe a few uh, miscellaneous supplies that normally we have like scissors and markers uh, or pencil um, so let's just get started to dye I was going to show you a few examples um, I have dyed these first few papers with ink sprays so the ink sprays are ink sprays and water um, I use just any kind of ink spray I can find um, normally what's ever on sale I've got Mr. Huey's here I've got Tim Holtz uh, Ranger and I've used recollections I've used tattered angels all those work so it doesn't matter too much and you'll pick two or three colors that you like. Um, if you like just one color, that's fine too. So just pick some colors that you like, spray your paper. In fact is, I have one here that I've already made that is drying. So this one I made in browns, um, as you could see from these when I held them up. So they're browns, tanned, and there's a little bit of green mixed in there. So I just spray my paper, my tracing paper. Um, I will turn it over and spray the back side and if I need to dilute it or if I need the ink to move around, I'll use water. Just spray it with water and let that puppy dry. Just let it dry. And that's how you do the ink sprays. So let me show you on these which ones are ink sprayed. This one is ink sprayed here. This one is ink sprayed with not quite as much ink. I left a lot of white space on this one. The back side is actually more colorful or more covered, I should say, than the front. Um, this one, I'm needing, I'm doing a chocolate journal right now, so I needed some with more browns and neutral colors. And I, I, the paper wrinkled up like this and I left it because I wanted to see what that would look like. And I really like that. So that one is done. Now I'm going to talk about, this is coffee stained. So I just, you know, like usual, like you do with your regular paper, I just dip this in coffee, let it dry, and I really love that. That's beautiful. Um, these are done using Rit dye, uh, which is a pretty common brand of dye around here. And this color is actually chocolate brown, which I adore this color. It's more like a cognac color, but it's called cocoa brown chocolate. So I thought, yes, I need that color for my chocolate journal. So I will be using this paper in my chocolate journal. Um, but anyway, so what I did with this powder, it's fairly inexpensive and readily available. You could buy it at craft stores. It also, in a lot of grocery stores, in fact, is I there aren't any grocery stores around me that don't carry this. Um, and so it's just an inexpensive box of powder that will go a long way, especially if you're using it for dyeing paper. And um, what I did with this, I took one cup of very hot water. It was almost boiling, but I was, I was getting impatient. So I just used one cup of the very, very hot water. I put in a tablespoon of the powdered dye and mixed it until it was all dissolved and used that for my dye, dye bath. I just dipped the paper in the water and pulled it out and this is the color. It was so gorgeous. Really happy with these and in particular this color. I just think it's beautiful. So see what I mean though? It's, it, it does definitely have a purple or reddish tinge. Of course I am actually showing it on top of a red piece, but there it is under white. 
isn't that beautiful? And it will have some modeling because the ink, is, or, yeah, the, the dye is going to actually um, pull up in a few spots. I haven't tried it by hold, um, like clipping it onto and drying it vertically like on a clothesline type situation. I haven't tried that. I think it may make a more uniform color, but I, I super love the way these turned out. So this is using the RIT dye, and this is also a RIT dye that I already had, and it's red, so you can see some modeling and stuff there. This is the con or the chocolate brown again, another sample, and this is some purple that I had. And so those are beautiful too. So there are a couple different ways you can you can dye the papers, which is fun. Like just use what you have. All right. So the next step after those have dried, I dry mine. Like I said, I dry them just flat horizontally, and um, the next thing we're going to need are our other supplies that we already mentioned. We'll need two sheets of parchment paper, the same size as your paper, uh, roughly, and two sheets of wax paper, roughly the same size as your paper. So this, I have this microwave wrap. I think it's the same as parchment and they work equally well. Um, don't use, something to not use that I discovered is freezer paper. So freezer paper is waxy on one side and it has like a parchment paper on the other side. So you'd think that it would be perfect, right? But it sticks to the paper and will not come off. So don't use that. But this is the way we're gonna do this. Your iron should be on a medium setting, not too hot. Um, the hotter it is, the more wrinkled your paper will get. So take your, um, ironing pad, right? Place a parchment paper on top and then a waxed paper next. Grab one of your grab one of your um, colored papers. This will make this also will make your paper more translucent, which is fun. Put wax paper on top of that and then parchment on top of that. So you're making a sandwich. So we've got parchment waxed, colored, waxed, and parchment. So just make a nice little sandwich and take your iron and just run it down kind of slowly. It only takes a minute, maybe, but if your iron is too hot, it's going to wrinkle up your paper a little bit, which is fine. It gives it another texture and I don't mind that at all but this makes it just a little bit more uniform, I think. All right, now it's, you, can, you can see when it's melted in because the parchment paper gets more translucent as well. So let's pull this up and then pull our wax paper up, which my wax paper is sticking to itself. There we go. There's our colored paper and we're gonna pull that up. And there you have it. This now has wax on it, and you can you can feel it with your fingers, and you can see a slight sheen to it as well. So beautiful, love that. Deepened the color; it sort of made it more translucent. Oh, I forgot to mention too. You can use this parchment paper over again. Just mark the back. So this will be my back, and I can use this over and over again. You don't want to you. You know the waxy surface will will always be down and you'll always be ironing on the back so that's that's just a little tip there you can use that parchment paper over and over again but the wax paper is done right you'll have to discard that but this is the result this one has been done as well the fact is this cognac one is done and this one is not so you can see there is a difference okay uh, my battery is about to die, so I hope I can wrap this up really quickly. Um, please visit us on our social media. Um, I'll leave the links for that down below. And take care. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for more content and uh, check out our Etsy shop, and we will talk to you later. Take care. Bye.